I'm Jonathan Powell, and this week we'll be talking about Searle's Chinese Room argument, specifically in relation to the movie Star Wars, and some occasion on the artificial intelligence depicted in that movie. Here I have three Chinese symbols. This one means alcohol. This one means fire. And then I have this equation saying alcohol plus fire equals death. A little bit, I'm going to put Dan in that room. He has no idea what these symbols mean or that I'm going to give them to him. Passing in those two symbols and that rule, we'll see that Dan most likely, I would think, would pass the symbol for death back to me. And therefore, without really understanding Chinese, he will have passed Cyril's Chinese room argument. Give us an idea of what exactly Cyril was talking about with that argument. Here we go. Yeah. Dan, you with me? I'm going to pass you a couple symbols and a rule, and I want to see what you get back to me, all right? Okay, whatever. Okay, here's the first one. Ooh, this is a pot. Okay. Here's the second one. What does this thing mean? I'm not going to tell you that. You just got to figure out. I'm going to give you this rule and see if you uh, pass the right thing back to me. You don't know Chinese, do you? Okay, just making sure. Okay, here's the rule. Maybe. Yeah, take your time. You have no idea what these mean, right? No. Okay. Okay, so as we saw in that scenario, John was just merely passing me a bunch of symbols and some rules, and without knowing what I was doing at all, I came up with the expected output. Um, basically, I just had these things that I can manipulate, and a few very basic rules, like knowing what addition was, and so that I could out the answers. Uh, I came out with the correct answer, so we showed that even though I wasn't displaying any intelligence, I was still doing something valuable. So the question that Cyril raises in his paper is essentially that can we consider any being in a machine intelligent when it's just manipulating symbols and rules if not the, the correct output? Certainly we wouldn't say man understood Chinese in, the, in, in a really in a true sense as someone who spoke Chinese would come up with and start conversing with him. Dan would have no idea what they're talking about. Dan would think of manipulating rules and manipulating symbols to get to where he was at. So when in manipulating language like this, the first movie that kind of came to mind was Star Wars. C-3PO is a language story meant for translation. And the question remains, is C-3PO intelligent if he's just running according to these rules so that he can correctly translate for individuals? So does he actually understand the language? Is he intelligent? So if we look at C-3PO and how he was built, he's built on a bunch of sensors. He has a hearing sensor, sight sensor, um, and they have a few other things. And it seems like he's fed a bunch of data from the outside world, found uh, what he sees, and manipulates that to create some kind of output that he will understand. So say if one sound coming in is the sound of an Ewok, you may be able to change that Ewok noise into a uh, human noise and be able to create human speech, which will be uh, the translation. The question is, does C-3PO actually understand what he's doing? Uh, the sort of argument is that he doesn't. He just gets the input and produces this output. Are the questions that come to mind in comparing Cyril's argument to C-3PO? Well, so C-3PO does seem to display a certain amount of emotion and attachment to both his master and to other droids. Certainly R2-D2 comes to mind. Uh, he seems to get nervous and anxious. In fact, he's basically anxious throughout the entire film, constantly saying review and being worried about the actions that are taking. I mean, especially compared to R2-D2, who seems to be a quote-unquote more courageous droid. But, so, in... C3 maybe can display emotion in such a way. Is that some sort of intelligence in this plane? Certainly some self-consciousness. C3 PO seems to understand that it's worrying, that it's upset, what its master wants, and things like that. So in that sense, would we consider C3 C3 PO intelligent beyond the fact that it's just manipulating symbols to arrive at the correct translation? Is that what it's truly doing? Another thing we might want to consider is whether
whether Searle's description of intelligence based on understanding is really an accurate one. It may be true that C-3PO is not actually understanding what he is doing, but he is definitely providing some kind of information, and there is a coherent input and output. So is that intelligence in and of itself? That's all we have for today. We'll leave you with a word from our sponsor, the C-3PO Serial. Now, it's here. The excitement, the adventure of a new force at breakfast. We'll call them C-3PO's. New C-3PO Serial from Kellogg's. Twin rings, haze together. For two crunches in every double O. A delicious part of this nutritious breakfast. Now you can experience the taste of Kellogg's C-3PO's. A crunchy new force at breakfast.